Alright, so 45 seconds for that. So that's going to be one I'm going to have to go back when I get that ability. And now for the last one, the Compactor Reactor, which actually has another hidden gem inside it. Yes, you can get three other colored gems in the first warp room. That's pretty outrageous, I think. But you can't get this one unless you get the yellow gem. I actually like Compactor Reactor, though. It's probably one of my more favorite stages in this game, believe it or not. Which is why I'd love to show you it if this loading screen would go away. I just realized something. I'm too paranoid. I'm too paranoid. I'll be right back. All right. I took my own advice and saved. So, time for some minecart action. Anyway, minecart tips, uh, depending on what direction you end up going on the controller. Uh, go left, it goes left. Like this, to hit boxes, etc., etc. I don't think I can actually get all the boxes in this one because, uh, as you can see right there, you need the yellow gem in order to complete this. Uh, dude. I do like this stage simply for this section of it. I don't know why. I just have always loved this section of it. Right, get out of the way. And, shoot. Go, Crash, go! Be the Indiana Jones you always knew you could be. As you can see, though, there was a uh, path down there. That is the path where the hidden gem is. Actually, no, no, no. I know what this actually makes me feel like. It makes me feel like I'm on the original Indiana Jones ride before it was redone at Disneyland because I actually remember that because I was alive for that. Right? And wait for the drills. And now we got these guys to deal with. Great. Bye-bye. I'm very sad that they don't have their uh, sound effects anymore. I really like their sound effects. Scream! Right, and boing, 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 boing. Here we go. And hit. Right, and destroy. There we go. So, one thing that you might end up noticing in some of the later parts that I should get out of the way right now is that some of the later parts are going to end up looking different. Uh, what do I mean by different? I mean that I'm going to be using a different uh, video cable for this. For those of you who don't know, I right now I'm actually using uh, the composite to HDMI converter right now, which is why it doesn't look the best. The reason why I'm using it, though, is because I find that there's some problems with my S video converter at times. It, uh, with the saturation, I have no idea what goes on with it, but it just really screws up for some odd reason. Whoa. Get out of the way. Whoa. I don't like this guy. Especially when I don't have it on the last mask. Um, so, what is it that I'm going to be using? I'm actually going to be using GameCube component cables. Now, GameCube component cables, for those of you who don't know, GameCube component cables are so good. GameCube component cables uh, were only released inside Japan and were limited in print because of the fact that the GameCube ended up removing the digital audio port that it has. Uh, what digital audio port am I talking about? Uh, I don't know if I should hit that or not. Uh, okay, it looks like I should hit that. So, let, let's I'll jump, and here we go. Um, pretty much in launch GameCube up until 2003, there was a port on the back that was the digital audio port. That was for Component. Now, you might be thinking, oh, Component, uh, I've already seen your stuff with Component. It's not that good. I know you say it. Don't believe me. I know you do. But anyway, uh, Component on the GameCube is a bit different than how it is on the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. Because on the... Wait, I gotta kill myself. There's no way I can make that. Um... On the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox, there wasn't a cable. The cable didn't have what Nintendo had. Nintendo's cable, uh, com component cable, bleh, I am very tongue twisted today, does actually have something unique. It has a chip that was developed by Nintendo that improved the game quality like crazy. In fact, it looked better than a lot of Nintendo Wii games. A lot of Nintendo Wii games. And so, I'm actually happy that I was actually able to get some of those cables. Please note, though, those cables cost an arm and a leg. Uh, because of the fact that they were limited to print and that Nintendo never released them outside of Japan, the GameCube component cables go pretty much for $150. Uh, 
I've never seen a GameCube component cable cheaper than uh, $100. All right, so I need to concentrate on this one. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Boop. Here we go. Hit that first. Because it does that. Hit that. So yeah, I'm going to be using component cables later on because I finally managed to get them and I'm really excited that I was actually able to. But that probably, I won't get those probably until next week or so. And I'm going to be recording most of Crash Bandicoot 4 actually. So you might not see, you might see it in time for me when I get the finale of Crash Bandicoot 4. But I wouldn't be surprised if I finished Crash Bandicoot 4 without actually uh, showing you how the this game looks with it. Because one of the things about this game is this is one of the GameCube games that doesn't have, uh, you know, support for, um, what is it called? It doesn't have support for, um, seven, uh, for 480p. It only goes into 480i, which is very rare for a GameCube game. And most GameCube games are 480, have 480p. One, two, ah! <laughs> Why was it only two? Uh, don't do that to me. That was stupid. But yeah, this game actually doesn't have a uh, 480p. In fact, I don't think any Universal Interactive game has 480 progressive scan for the uh, GameCube. Actually. I think it's just stuck at 480i. This isn't the only game. There are some Sega games that actually are the same way as well. Uh, one of the most notable ones is Sky's of Arcadia. Okay, this is two. One, two. What the? Yeah. Two, three, four. Haha, <laughs> I thought I'd screw up. Why was it two before? Die. 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 I do like the music for this stage, though. I think this is probably one of my favorite tracks as well. No, no, that's my right. invader belt. Jump over that, and then jump over that, and I got hit. And hit. There we go. Jam. Kind of looks gold right there, but let's end. Now, I can't do the relic one for this, because after you get the fifth crystal, you will end up unlocking the boss. Because the brown mist, apparently, is gone. I don't know why brown mist is so powerful enough that it can repel me from going to fight the boss, but oh well. And now the brown mist prevents me from going back into the levels! I want to go back into the levels! Come on! Fine! We'll beat Rumble in the Rocks! Let's go! Well, well. Looks like the Bandicoot's been busy collecting crystals. I warned you, Bandicoot. Finally, I get to wrap my fingers around your puny orange neck. Uh, no thank you. No bad touch, please. No bad touch. No loading screens! Ugh, my Achilles heel. And now we are in a boss fight against Rocco and Crunch. Each of the boss battles in this game are unique in that they will use the elemental masks. So in this one, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to hit these rocks that are going around, hit both of them, and they will hit Crunch, pretty much automatic. And then Aku Aku does a little dance around it. I guess he's trying to make him invincible. Now, one thing that was actually added into the GameCube version of the game based from the PS2 version, believe it or not. See the health indicator in the corner with the little symbol of Crunch's head? Not in the original version of uh, wrap the cortex. Now, Crunch will try to go after you. Uh, you might notice that he has one of the rocks. If he gets all the rocks, then he'll hit you. Uh, uh, do not hit... Ah, crud. You can cancel out each other's uh, flames by hitting them. Uh, one thing to note, though, is actually it is possible... Uh, I think the flames will run out after a while. Where's the last one? There it is. There we go. It's two. Do your little dance, Aku Aku. Make him dance well. Not well, it's Mel Winkler. Make him dance, Winkler. Alright, and now we have four rocks. This is the last hit. Whoop. Get out of the way. 
Oh, crap, I missed one. Come on, baby. Get to the rocks. Get to the rocks. I almost got hit there. Okay, where's rock? Rock. Sound like my mythology professor when we were talking about pretty rock. Come on. Ah, he got one. No. Yeah. Ouch. Hot touch. Hot touch. Yeah. Don't hit me. I don't want to. I don't want to be hit. I don't like to be hit. I don't want a bad touch. Ooh, rock. Rock, 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 rock. Oh, give me the rock. No, oh, what the heck? No crash, go! And there you go! That should take care of him! And for our reward, we get the sneak shoes! Hold down to sneak along suspended nitro crates, hold the Z button while moving. So yes, this is a new power that is in this game. We can actually walk on stationary nitro cards. We're actually going to have to use that in the next warp room. So, warp! I just like to imagine that the ball ends up getting warped along with it and ends up hitting something. <laughs> it, it just instantaneously carries all the momentum that you had before, so you just are rolling all over the place. And there we go! That defeats Crunch and... Cortex! When are you and that super weapon of yours going to put an end to that interfering bandicoot? You are beginning to test my patience! Uh, uh... I'm working on a Duka Uka. Listen, Crash, you may have outsmarted Rocco, but there are three more elemental masks where he came from. And just as luck would have it, they are all significantly more powerful. Ha! I have no doubt that the water elemental, Wawa, will make sure you never see the light of day. Yeah. The water boy and I are gonna take you out. Ooh, I'm gonna rip you limb from limb. If you were wanting to rip me limb from limb. So yes, we've now unlocked the second warp room, actually, which has interesting levels. I don't really like them that much. But we still have one last thing to do in the first warp room, and that is getting the relic in the stage I like. So, go! Haha, <laughs> instantaneous trends for you guys, but in the end it took me about like three minutes for that to load for some reason. And time! Time to go into time trial! Which pretty much I don't think I can do competently for this stage, believe it or not. I'm not really good with this stage when it comes to time trial. Although I still love it. Whee! I kind of wish that there was just a full stage of this, because it'd be a lot of fun. Incredible. I could have gone back there because there was a three second one right there. So we have a minute 45 in order to get at least the Sapphire, which is what I'm going to be doing. This stage, for the beginning part, you're always at a constant speed, so it's not as bad. But if you take the shortcuts, like I've been missing, uh, you should get generally, I believe, three second boxes inside there. But I could be wrong. It's been a while. All right. And now for the running part of it. Come on, go. Look at all the steam. Oop. And I want that two second clock. And go right over this way. And time to jump. And whoop. Completely missed. Nailed it. Nope, don't want to deal. Not dealing with you guys. Oh, thank you, I need that. I would have loved if I ended up getting hit on the first enemy I see because of that. Right, and... Right there. How did I not get hit on that? Whoop. 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 Come on, move. Here we go. Whoop. 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 Oh, come on, that was easier than it was in the first stage. Whoop! 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 I'm getting slow down, guys! I love slow down! I was about to say, how am I not getting hit? And come on, we can do it! There we go! And Sapphire, I think. Yes, that is Sapphire, which then changes it to Platinum because it lies to me. 
like it when it lies to me. And there we go! That completes the first warp room, which actually, now that we have five, we should have unlocked the hidden warp room, if I am not mistaken. Because just like Crash Bandicoot 3, it should function the same. If not, then I'm a dirty, dirty liar and deserve to be punished. I need the running ability for that one. Uh, shouldn't there be the hidden one right here? I could have sworn there would have been. I guess I'm a dirty, dirty liar and need to be punished. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. Roxas 1359. Next time, in my next recording session, I should say, I'm going to be taking on the second warp room. So, I'll see you guys then.